Hello Squirrels and welcome to PPM6 TV. Today what it is is a return to the mighty Shure SM7B and the Audient ID44. The question of how much gain you need rumbles on and people keep uh, asking me that in the comments. So uh, here's one more definitive video on the subject. Now what I'm going to do is uh, three simple tests. First, I'm going to do a reading straight into the Shure SM7B, into the Audient, uh, maxed out at 60 dB. In fact, that's what you're listening to now. Secondly, I'm going to deploy the even mightier Cooper Sound CS104, one of the great location mixers, which has got, I don't know, 80 dB of gain or something ridiculous on its mic amps. And I'm going to bypass the mic amp in the... Um, Audient and feed it directly into the converters to see if you can uh, hear the difference between a digitally gain boosted, which the first recording will be, and the second uh, recording, which is all analog gain. And thirdly, in what can only be described as genius, I am not just a pretty face, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the direct out of channel one on the Audient, and I'm going to feed it back into the line input of channel two, and thereby availing myself of extra gain to get me up above into those, you know, 66 to 76 dB range, which uh, the SM7B is more naturally comfortable with. Exciting, eh? So what we've been listening to so far, and what we're about to listen to, is the SM7B plugged directly into the ID44 with the gain maxed out at 60 dB. That file has then been normalized in post um, as, as it came out of the uh, recording. It was at minus 32 LUFs and it's been normalized to minus 23, which is the broadcast standard, adding 9 dB of gain. Well, actually 9 dB of loudness. This is, if you like, the vanilla situation. No FET head, no cloud lifter, just the gain in the ID44 and an SM7B with the loudness made up in post. So let's begin with Molesworth and down with school. History. History started badly and have been getting steadily worse. It's like racing really when Peason and I have a modest flutter through the undergardener. All the favourites go down. Harold beaten at Hastings. Bruce, victorious at Bannockburn, though Scottish pack, heavily outweighed. Cavaliers beaten by the Roundheads. Finally, beaten by the Yanks, who throw all our tea into Boston Harbour, dressed like Red Indians. That was the absolute end. OK, now in what is really a smart move, I've got the Cooper Sound CS104, which has got about 80 dB, I think, in its mic amps. It's driving the insert in of the ID44, which is bypasses all the mic gain and everything, and basically hits the um, A to D at uh, up to plus 18 dB. And uh, it's a testimony to the Cooper sound that it could do that quite easily indeed. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit more of that glorious Cooper sound gain. Anyway, let us uh, return to Molesworth and history. Part two. History. History started badly and have been getting steadily worse. It's like racing, really, when Peason and I have a modest flutter through the undergardener. All the favourites go down. Harold, beaten at Hastings. Bruce, victorious at Bannockburn, though Scottish pack heavily outweighed. Cavaliers, beaten by the Roundheads. Finally, beaten by the Yanks who throw all our tea into Boston Harbour dressed like Red Indians. That was the absolute end. And finally, the SM7B, after 60 dB of gain applied in channel 1, out the insert output and into the line input of channel 2, and uh, a hefty uh, lump of gain applied there too, although it's hard for me to tell, because I'm just going off the um, position of the knob. I don't really know how much it is, but uh, hopefully uh, enough to really uh, put some welly behind the SM7B. Back to history. History. History started badly and have been getting steadily worse. It's like racing, really, when Peason and I have a modest flutter through the undergardener. All the favourites go down. Harold beaten at Hastings. Bruce, victorious at Bannockburn, though Scottish pack heavily outweighed. Cavaliers beaten by the Roundheads. Finally, beaten by the Yanks, 
who throw all our tea into Boston Harbour dressed like Red Indians. That was the absolute end. I'll have a video that answers so many questions. Do you need a fent head or a cloud lifter with an ID44? No, you don't. The 60 dB that you get is so clean that you can add uh, 10 dB or whatever in post without a problem. But if you do want uh, extra analog gain, you can jack out of the return and into the line in of an adjacent channel. Remember, you can do that twice on the ID44 because the first two channels have send and returns, and then you can add a pile more gain. And finally, if you get a chance to buy one of these, I mean, mine is really a bit tatty and uh, I only paid a couple hundred quid for it maybe, um, but uh, a CS104, thing of beauty. It's like a Fabergé egg of audio gear and it's beautifully made and it sounds fantastic. Do pick one up. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video on uh, PPM6TV. Do subscribe, it does help. Come back soon. Bye for now.